Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Guess what? I'm hooked up. Check it out. I got a big fish on here. It's pulling hard. I've been fighting it probably for about, I don't know, six, seven minutes already. And I got him. This is on the Panfish 36 rod by Circle Tackle, 36 inch. It's a pretty light rod, but it's got a decent backbone. I, my only worry is the rod is fine, but I got six pound tests on here. I was fishing for whitefish. And whatever it is, could be a big pike, could be a big lake trout. Just came in and smoked it on a little tiny Northland tackle perch uh, tube jig. He uh, came in really fast on the bottom, smoked it. I set the hook, so the hook came up about six, seven feet, and he just came right up and inhaled it and just took off running. Like the, dr the line peeling runs in this one have been crazy. I even loosened off the line and I went all the way over to my sled over there. You can barely see it. It's about uh, 50 yards away to grab the camera and put it on and because this is taking so long. Just look at this. Look, look at how, look at this pull. Okay, I'll set the camera up and see if we can land this guy because this is, this is pretty, pretty nice fish. Oh, he's here. He's here. He's right here. He's right here. Oh yeah, it's a nice laker. He's right here. Oh. He's right here. I don't know how I'm gonna turn him up into here. He just keeps pulling. Look at that, that's powerful fish. On that Panfish 36 rod. I gotta somehow turn him in here. Oh, this is a good fight here. <laughs> the ice froze all broke up here, so I got the line caught in the ice at one point, so I was pulling on it pretty hard and he stayed on, luckily. It, was, it felt like he was snagged in the ice, but he came out. Today we're up on Flathead Lake, actually. Montana came up to visit my brother. And uh, it's fish like this that make you wish you would have drilled a double hole. Because eight inch hole, it's not very big to get these guys up here on light line. Man, I had him here and then he just going. So powerful. I'm wasting all my fishing time on this guy, but I guess this is fishing. <laughs> this is not wasting fishing. This is fishing. I came out hoping I'd catch a bunch of whites and I had maybe a couple go by. They didn't bite and this guy just came in and smoked it. Oh man. Oh, he's just right under the ice. It's a good thing if you got thin ice and they're really pulling right at an angle, like he's right over there. Just get your rod tip in the hole. It's easier on the line. Oh my, he's swimming around the hole now. Oh yeah! Oh, 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 oh. I couldn't even pull him up on that six pound line. I had to, I had to put, look at that. That's, that's the big, look, that's a 36 inch rod. Oh, that's, that's like a 36 inch rod. He's 34 inch. 34 inch lake trout. That's a 34 inch lake trout. Whoa, 34 inch lake trout on the panfish 36 rod. Whoa, look at that. And he took that little tiny perch jig like that. Whoa, yeah. Oh man. So in this lake, you gotta release all the ones between uh, 30 and 36 inch. So get this guy back fast. Look was really in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, get him washed up. Look at that beauty. Gonna get him back in the hole. What a nice fish. It's probably about 13, 14 pounds, I guess. Okay, let's let this guy go. He's ready. Goodbye. So after a big fish like that, especially a light line, that's all I was using. Little tiny, tiny hook like that. You can see how small it is. Remember to retie your line because they have big teeth and probably a braid, abrasion on the line makes it snap. Kept them on six pound test. Cut off about a foot of line to retie, okay? 
Then we'll get back down there. We got another one. We're hooked up again, but I got light line on this one. Four pound test. This might be another laker. Oh boy. On this alpha rod, my circle tackle. <laughs> Probably another laker, just a little. Uh, <laughs> This is a little um, Northland tackle, like uh, rattle flutter spoon in the perch color. It just came up and ate it. I don't think it's as big as the last one. Maybe it's a white. Kind of feels like Laker though. This one only has four pound tests. I know that for sure. I don't know why I'm using this with my, because uh, I'm the, I'm trying to catch whites, but the Lakers hit the same stuff as the whites. <laughs> Clear out the guide so you don't run into a problem later. Oh man, maybe this one is bigger than I thought. Pretty big head shakes too. They usually tire out. Lakers, they got that big tail, so <clears throat> just peel. Look at that little tip on that alpha rod. This is meant for a really light panfish, but as you can see, it's got a really stiff backbone, so you can set into the hook and it bends nicely when it needs to. But I uh, got the drag really loose, so. This keeps the tension on this little little part of the rod, which is like a flattened tip, which gives you a really good bite indication for perch and panfish. But I guess it works for lake trout too. I need to put one of these small hooks on one of my laker rods. That's what I think I'll do next. They don't seem to like these big tube jigs. They come into them, but then they're not biting them. So I think they're feeding on little perch minnows not big feed right now. So they're keyed in on the little stuff. So you gotta give them what they want. It seems this fishery is all about the depth. If you find the depth, there's lots of fish cruising around. So you have to like be willing to move around. And Oh, here he is. Another nice one. Not as big as the last one, but he's still nice. Yeah, quite a bit smaller than the last one. That's what I thought. But they're so powerful. Oh no. <laughs> here he comes. Oh, come on. Get your head up here. Come on. Oh yeah, come on. You're almost there. Oh. Oh, crazy fish. There he is. Oh, it's caught funny in his mouth. Whoa, look at that one. <laughs> Look at that, a tiny little rattling flyer from Northland Tackle, right in the tip of his mouth. Beautiful lake trout right there. Nothing compared to that last one, but that's very nice fish. Okay, good job. This is good, tough line, right? Yeah, yeah, it's 10 pound test. I have 15 pound floor on the end. Um, just trying to keep it away from the edge of the ice. I think it's fine on that. Yeah, end, it's right? fine. Oh man. He's a oh here he is. To lift a bit because he's got so much pain. Oh Cody, you're excited. She's like something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was small. Initially you were just cranking him. Okay. We got a big one on. Moved up from the 20 water foot mark because they slowed down, came out to 40. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's here. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Oh, it's a nice big one. Just careful of that joint there. Yeah, yeah. We got a big one here. 
Oh, it's gonna be right here. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, it's like the one I got. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's a big fish. You need a camera looking down the hole. Yeah, yeah. I'll get the camera. I guess we, we missed a lot of the you fight. Help me grab this thing. Yeah, I gotta grab that. <laughs> oh. Well, this is on the. Oh. Oh. oh! How are we gonna get that head in here? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Dakota's like, I see something there. Yeah. Let's get the right, right, right. ice clear. We'll be able to see the fish. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's so cool. Oh, it's a nice oh. big one. Okay. Oh, oh. oh don't be careful. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a big one, huh? Yeah. We're gonna have to measure that one. Hey, watch out, Dakota. Oh, man, look at that head oh. on that one. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, yeah. Can you film here? Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you film. both hands? Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, he came off! Oh! oh. oh he just kidding threw me? the hook right there. Oh. <laughs> well, we saw him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. I can't believe he just flipped the hook that easy. Yeah, after all that time. Yeah. How I thought he looked out. hooked really good because I was gonna try to just grab the hook and pull him out. Yeah, like, and it wasn't even like a, like a sudden head shake or something. Well, he did. He opened his mouth, right? Well, but it just came out so nicely. Yeah, I think it pushed against the ice. I think he, his mouth, it pushed the hook against the ice or something because it yeah. just popped out real easy. Yeah, he got lucky. He did get lucky. Not spinning. Hopefully, it didn't spool me. Look, oh, back out on the lake today in Montana. Just out here for a couple hours in the morning, then we're gonna go skiing. But I just caught a lake trout, little tiny perch pattern and spoon. They really seem to be keying in on the perch minnows. They spit them up when you bring them up too. They're super aggressive. They'll they'll chase them really. It's like they if they get a perch minnow to go up instead of down to the weeds, they'll chase it right up to the ice and crush it. So that's your best bet. Keep it off the grass, and then when one comes in, just pull it up away from it, and it'll come in and crush it. Okay, let's see if we can get another one on camera. <laughs> 